In this video I'm going to be substituting into algebraic expressions. The expressions will contain the variables a, b, c and d. And the value for a will always be 3, the value for b is going to be 5, the value for c is going to be minus 2 and for d the value is minus 4. The first expression is a plus b plus c and I'm going to evaluate it by substituting in the values which I know for a, b and c. I'm going to write the substitution directly underneath the algebraic expression. So instead of a, I'm going to write 3. The plus stays there, but instead of b, I'm going to write 5. I have another plus, and instead of c, I'm going to write minus 2. Writing the number version of the expression underneath the algebraic version of the expression lets me check for errors quite easily. Once I've got this number form of the expression, all I have to do is evaluate it using bod mass. In this case, there is no brackets or order or division or multiplication, so it's just a matter of evaluating the addition and subtraction. Remembering this one here, the plus and the minus overall forms a minus. So this expression is equivalent to 3 plus 5 minus 2, the 3 plus the 5 is 8, minus 2, that gives me 6. The next expression I'm going to evaluate is a plus b minus c. So the a gets substituted with 3 plus b is 5 minus and c is minus 2. Now that becomes 3 plus 5, but this minus minus 2 becomes a plus 2. So this is 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 2, which equals 10. My next expression is 3a plus b. That means 3 times a, which in this case is 3 times 3, and then the plus and b is 5. I must do the multiplication first. So 3 times 3 is 9, and then plus 5, and 9 plus 5 is 14. The next expression is a plus bd, so that's a which is 3, plus bd, that's b times d, which is 5 times minus 4. I must do the multiplication first. Remember the multiplication is this bit here, so that's going to be 3 plus 3 times minus 4 is minus 20, and that's equal to 3 minus 20, because the plus minus, keep it as a minus, and that's going to be minus 17. This expression is 6 plus c squared, so that stays as 6 plus and c is minus 2, so that's minus 2 squared. I'm going to write the minus 2 in brackets just to emphasize it is minus 2 times minus 2. And that minus 2 times minus 2 is actually 4, because 2 minuses make a positive. So this expression becomes from 6 plus minus 2 squared becomes 6 plus 4. And that 6 plus 4 is 10. A common error here would have been to do 6 plus minus 2 squared and then get that to be um, 6 plus minus, well 2 squared being 4 and that 6 plus minus 4 would be 6 minus 4 and 6 minus 4 equals 2. But that's nonsense because you didn't take into account that it's not 2 squared, it's minus 2 squared which would have given you plus 4 down here. So complete nonsense that. The next expression is 2b squared, so substituting in this gives us 2 times um, 5 squared. Again rules of bod mass, you have to do the square first, so that's going to be um, the 5 squared first, so that's 2 times 5 squared is 25, and that's going to come to 2 times 25 is 50. The most common error here would be to do 
2 times 5 squared and do the 2 times 5 reading it from left to right to give you 10 and doing 10 squared which is 100. That doesn't follow the rules of BODMAS because you haven't done the squared bit before the multiplication so again that's nonsense. A couple more to do. The next expression is 12 minus 2 times a minus 3c. So substitute our values in. That's going to be 12 minus 2 times and inside the bracket we've got a which is 3 minus 3 times c which is minus 2. Now with the rules of bod mass I've got to do the bracket first but inside the bracket I've got to apply its own rule of bod mass and so this multiplication gets done first. So I'll rewrite that as 12 minus 2 times uh, 3 minus and then do this multiplication here which is 3 times minus 2 so that's going to be minus 6 so this becomes 3 minus minus 6 I can now evaluate the whole of that bracket so that's 12 minus 2 times um, 3 minus minus 6 is 3 plus 6 so that's going to be 12 minus 2 times 9. Now I mustn't do the 12 minus 2 to get 10 because I've got a multiplication to do still so I must do that multiplication first so that's a 2 times 9 which is 18 so this expression simplifies to 12 minus 18 and 12 minus 18 is minus 6. The last expression I'm doing today is a plus c plus d squared. So substituting the values we have 3 plus bracket c is minus 2 plus d is minus 4 and that is in brackets and that bracket is squared. Got to do the brackets first so that's 3 plus stays there the bracket becomes minus 2 that plus minus is a minus 4 and that's squared so that equals 3 plus inside the bracket becomes minus 6 so that's minus 6 it's squared so I'm going to keep the bracket there because it's a negative number and I don't want to get confused there I, I want equals 3 plus now minus 6 squared is minus 6 times minus 6 which is 36 so that's 3 plus 36 I didn't want to end up with minus 36 in there because that would give me the wrong answer obviously and here we have 3 plus 36 the correct answer 39